Hi everyone! September's Crafts to Go from Sklo Library is flower pounding. To reserve your bag, please give the reference desk a call at 814-237-6236. You'll receive instructions for flower pounding and some paper and a cotton tea towel for printing. In today's video, I'm going to show you the different steps for flower pounding. You'll just need to gather some flowers and household materials. To set up the space for a flower printing in your home, you want to start with a hard surface like this table and a towel. We recommend using a cutting board or a wooden block and you'll just lay that on top of the towel that kind of keeps it more in place. Then you'll cover the wooden block or cutting board with wax paper. This prevents the dye from bleeding through and staining your cutting board. I should note that the instructions that we provide are for temporary printing. If you'd like a more permanent dye, we suggest looking up instructions for using a mordant. This requires pre-washing the fabric before printing. Okay, so once you have that set up, you'll just place whatever you're printing on down. And I've just come back from my plant walk. You'll see that there's so many beautiful plants still out. Coneflower, Echinacea, Rebecca. And today I will show you how to print this Camelina communis, also known as the day flower. I'd like to remind you to please be mindful of the flowers that you pick. You'll want to be sure you can identify them so they're not poisonous or toxic, as well as being sure that you are picking them from a place that's okay, like your own yard. Okay, so whatever flower or leaf you choose, you'll want to place face down. If you're using fabric, it's not really necessary to do this, but if you're printing on paper, you definitely need to take some of the stickiness off of the masking tape or painter's tape that you're using. So that just requires sticking it on some fabric and then just peeling it off. That way, you don't peel off any of the paper once you remove the flower after you've printed it. Okay, so the flower is placed down. I'll just put that tape over it. So it's fully covered. Then you'll just take your hammer and lightly And you can gently peel some of the tape back to see if the dye is transferring. And it looks like it is, but if it wasn't, you can just stick it back down and keep hammering. And then, uh, voila, you can see how it printed. So you'll just want to wait for that to dry and then you will have a beautiful flower print. We hope you enjoy this month's craft. Take care!